Hello everybody and welcome back, it's me Mage Graft and as we are here on the verge of hitting 1000 subscribers at last we finally get to doing the interior of this hulking great massive cathedral build which uh, you've all been asking for for ages, we're finally gonna do it, so let's get on with it. And I thought with such a complex task as the interior of this we would start simple or as simple as we can get and we're going to start inside these two front towers here uh, which you can see now are completely empty. Uh, you can see it's very dark in here so I am going to be spamming around some torches just to make it a little bit lighter uh, while filming. They are going to get removed though so uh, there for me you don't have to worry about them. What we're going to do to start with is we're going to start here with stone bricks at the level of the top of the stone here. Which we're just going to make a full platform, the whole uh, size of this uh, area, all the way out to uh, here, and we can match it up there, like so. You can probably take them out. And we're going to uh, put some steps in here that moves up to here, but our main staircase is going to start on this level. This will be the effective floor. So once we've got this floor in, we're going to find the exact middle and put one of these 3x3 pillars right in the middle. So you're going to have to kind of probably gauge it off uh, the existing pillars. And you're going to just pop one, two, three, and four in like that. And that is just going to get raised all the way up to the very top. We're going to also going to fill it in the middle with some polished andesite. Again, you can pick other blocks if you want to make it look different, give some different colors here, some interesting detail. So once we've got that middle pillar in, we're going to start making some slight changes to the inside here. What we're going to do is we're going to make a decorative pillar uh, that hides uh, this fairly bare space here. So we're going to come to each side. There's one, two, three, and four we're going to do the same on each we're going to go one there one there one there and one there we're going to take them all the way up so now we have to fill in the center of this uh, with some decoration because it's very bare at the moment and very one block which is never a good thing so we're going to start here with a full block and then i decided to actually mix it up a little bit and use the crimson hyphae uh, here which i think is oh sorry the crimson stem which is lovely i think it goes well with the nether brick but it's a slightly different block uh, and then we're going to put in a normal stair and then here we need to uh, fill a block and then a redstone lamp. We'll pop a lever on and switch it on and then we pop in an upturned and then that's your full pattern. And we're just going to keep repeating that now, uh, one on top of the other. We'll put in a high fa uh, stem sorry, uh, and then a step, a filler, redstone lamp, switch it on with the lever and then do that. And we're going to do that all the way up to the top. And now that we've done that, we've got some actual light in here so we can uh, not rely so much on these anymore. If you have put them in, uh, feel free to take them out once you've put your columns in with your redstone lamps. At the bottom, we need to just uh, flare this out a bit, give it a base. So we're just going to do uh, steps there and there and there and then there and there there and that is basically it what we're then going to do is we're going to reproduce this on all of the other three sides here here and here last thing before we actually start putting this staircase in is we're going to come to these windows here uh, there are one two three four five and six walls which have windows in them and on each one we're going to come in with the stone bricks and put two layers of uh, your stone bricks in like that one and two and you'll notice that they are exactly in between the top of the andesite point there and the start of the next window and then underneath those we're just going to round them off a little bit with an upturned uh, stair like that and we're going to just go up to the next level here we only need one extra layer here just to bring us uh, just above uh, that andesite block and again pop in those like that now finally we can start putting these steps in and it's really simple, we're going to start here as we saw, so we've got that pillar to pillar to pillar there, we're going to start on this row here between that pillar and that pillar and that's where we put our first row and that's in the way so we can take that out, so that's where our staircase starts, we're just going to go up by one each time and we're going to do that three, ooh dearie me I'm all over the place, three times like that. So you're going to have three steps and then the next time you go up here, now we're going to put a three by three square in like that. So we've got three steps and then a 
platform here. We're going to do that for seven of these platforms. So that's one. We're going to do it six more times. So let's do that one more time. We're going to do one step, two step, and three step. And then on the next one up, we do a three by three like so. And that's it. Now we've got two and we're going to, as I say, go all the way up to seven. So here we are at number seven. We've come all the way up to here, but we don't want to keep going up here because actually we want to be able to come to here and then start our walkway out here and then along the windows here, you see. So what we're going to do is we bring this one completely flat all the way across uh, from one corner to the next. Really simple like uh, that there. And then this will then form a pathway coming this way eventually. We're not going to do that now. We're going to just leave that. But once we've done this, then we're going to do uh, four more of our uh, platforms, platforms, uh, just like we did before. So that would be, this would be number one here. And we're going to go up two, three, and four. So now that's complete, you can see we've got this long section that we did and then we went up one, two, three, and then four, and we come and stopped at four because neatly it comes out here uh, where the level of the bottom of the roof is, which means we can have an exit of this tower out here. So we're going to uh, bridge that all the way across to uh, there. Uh, we're probably gonna take this layer out if you've got it, you may not. Um, depending on how you follow this but from here we can go up in steps like this and that should meet nicely here like so uh, you're gonna probably come out like that and there we go we have a way out here onto the roof and of course once we've done that we're just gonna come back to here and we're gonna continue this all the way up until we hit the roof now Obviously at some point you're going to hit the roof height here, uh, so as soon as you can't go any further you can knock out these here to allow you to keep going. Obviously we're going to uh, knock them out only a certain distance, um, just following the same pattern. So here we're going to have a flat square, uh, it gets a wee bit fiddlier especially if you need survival, if you've done it in survival, well done. Uh, here, we're gonna knock out some more, like so. Uh, we'll take those ones out, and that one, and that one. And we should be able to join this up now to the level of the inside of the top of this tower, uh, which brings us nicely to about here, I think, if we've got it right. Let's just finish that off, and like so that's it now we can now freely walk from the top up here all the way down to the bottom you might want to probably take at least one more row out there just to make that have enough uh, head height now that we've got the main stairs in we need to just uh, seal off these corners here uh, so that people don't fall off as they're walking up it doesn't look very natural either does it so it's really simple on each corner as you come up we're going to put uh, some stone brick slabs and then another row of stone brick slabs, except in the corner where we pop in a chiseled one like that. And that just finishes that off. It just gives it a bit of a finished look. You can still walk over if you're not careful, but it does uh, make it obvious where the path goes. We're gonna keep doing that all the way up. Now, once we get up to this area here where we have the long flat section, we need to figure out what we're doing and it's gonna be a little bit different here. It's not too different though, so don't worry. We're gonna bring that out one more three that way and then put three here like that and then bring that out by three like that. And that roughly positions us to go out this way. What we're gonna do here though is we're gonna start building up pillars like this, like we did in here, uh, but we're going to do them uh, along this front wall here if we see. So we're gonna put four in, we're gonna put one uh, there basically on the outside of the door. And then there's two more here in between the two main doors and then there will be one here as well. So we'll do uh, two, these two this side and then you can copy them across, really simple. Just like we've done before, we're just gonna come in with your stone bricks and we can go right to the bottom here. Uh, and as you can see, we've got one there already, 
we want to go up there like that and then up there like that so it does the same pattern of uh, one, 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 like that. So, but it comes around like that. And then it neatly joins up with the door frame there. Once you've done that, you can take them all the way up to the very top. So there you go, that's those two done. And we're gonna come here as well and do the exact same thing. We're just effectively mirroring it the other side of the door. One there, one there, and one there like that. And obviously here then, it's gonna go one there, one there, one there. And they go all the way up to the top. You don't have to go anywhere past here uh, and into the roof space because actually we're going to put a, a roof uh, a ceiling section rather here that hides that completely but for now what we're going to do is just like we've done uh, on these ones here we're going to fill in the exact same detail pattern uh, just like we did before uh, you know the drill by now so we're going to pop in did we start with the decorative block i don't remember yes we did so let's do the same thing why not i don't think it matters too much either way but we're going to do decorative block and then uh, step fill a block lantern there we go not a lantern i mean a redstone lamp there we go and we're going to do that all the way up that one and all the way up that one so there we go now i've got two done you can do the other two the other side obviously everything we're doing on one side we are just mirroring exactly the same on the other side but what you'll notice now is if we go back up to this level here now our path of three conveniently lines up perfectly with that gap which is great what it means we can do is we can bring it probably to about here and then we're going to put a, a stone brick in there and then from there on we're going to have the, the wooden walkway. Uh, here obviously you've got to fill in some of the spaces so we're just going to use the same pattern uh, just like we did before but we can put the uh, on every single corner we're going to put a chiseled block uh, here. I don't know what can we do. Uh, let's see we'll do that. And I suppose if you wanted, you could put in a, a chiseled somewhere. I don't know. Uh, you can freestyle that one a little bit if you like. You could even put one there. Why not? I don't know. Or maybe one, maybe one there to echo that. Uh, yeah, let's try that. We'll take that one out instead. I think that makes sense because then they line up uh, from here. Then we're going to bring a platform, which if you look at the level, uh, uh, it's the same here as it is around the corner. We are one block below the windowsill and that's for a very specific reason Obviously, if you had a walkway that was uh, Two blocks below the window you couldn't actually see out of the window So it's important that our walkways where we want views out of the window uh, Then to be exactly one block below the windowsill and that will work as we come all the way around here And to hear the walkway uh, will start to come around here like this before we do that though, we have got to finish off this staircase and all of the detailing. So we're going to carry on uh, following the same pattern all the way up here. And then we'll just finish off the top. And for that, I'm gonna skip past these. You can fill these in uh, all the way up to here. So once we get here, we need to resolve what happens here. We want ideally this to be the same where there's a three by three that neatly fits. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, as you can see, we've got this pillar that we've just built here. We stopped here. We can actually raise it all the way up to here. Now to do that, we will uh, keep going up there and up there like that. And then we'll probably need to put one there. Oh, well, maybe we don't. Do you know what? Let's leave that one out. I think it will make sense doing it this way. But we're just going to carry on with our pattern uh, just to finish this off. Like, oops, a daisy. Like so. And then we should, if we finish this off, we should be able to, let's just pop them in. We should be able to make this go through that perfect three wide gap. And we can do that by coming in here. We can fill that one in and bring that out to there. Uh, we'll keep it even from underneath as well. So we'll come in and do it this way. There we go. So that then just means that we have a smooth transition with the same kind of details here. Now, actually, after consideration, I've realized that we have the nether brick this side. So maybe it would make sense to uh, transition here to the nether brick so that it looks the same either side. If that makes sense, uh, that means that when we're walking through here now, the detailing looks uh, the same. So it's consistent and we need to just make sure that this is safe so that no one drops off again, just like we did before. We'll pop a chisel in there 
and let's mirror it across to there and then the rest we can make into slabs like so and that's your next entrance done now we're going to keep coming up we've got another corner there to do and then here we have uh, where things get slightly different here what I would suggest is uh, bring this wall out across here like so here and here uh, and then what we can do is we can uh, grab a polished andesite where are we there we are and pop them in there like that and that just looks like that column is fully supported then that makes more sense if you want to be uh, super careful you can come underneath it as well and come in with your slabs and oops a daisy make that look exactly the same as every other level from underneath because obviously you're going to be able to see these from underneath it's a small detail but uh, if you want to make it really neat and tidy that's a good way of doing it and once we get to here uh, what I think I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take that layer out and keep that stone brick and we're going to carry on with our normal pattern which is uh, every time there's a corner we're going to have one of our uh, chisel blocks um, and then the rest we can put in as slabs just like so and that just gives us a little raised lip here so that uh, when we're up here we don't go the wrong way uh, and fall down the stairs that's not very neat design is it so that just uh, makes this space make more sense okay so now we're going to move on to these balconies that we're going to move uh, from here and they're going to come across here to obviously where you've mirrored what we've done over there over here they should join up and then we're going to bring these balconies all the way down here we're going to bring them all the way to this pillar here we're going to stop here for now we're going to do the rest at another point it's really simple we're going to start where these stone bricks are three wide and bring them all the way across here as i've said if you've mirrored this across properly you'll probably stop about there uh, and yours will meet up so then you can walk from one tower to the next really simply let's uh, bring that third one out and then there we go that'll do for now here we're going to put in uh, two and we're going to bring that two all the way down to as i've said about put one more there and we're going to stop there things go a little bit different after that so this is what we're going to do for now obviously we're going to do this one side and then the other side and then once you've got that, we're going to just do a layer of stone brick all around the outside of that, like so. Now at this stage, just as I did when I originally built it, I got to this and went, hmm, that wall on the interior needs a little bit of fixing up, uh, a little bit of love given to it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start to do that now, and we're going to come in with stone brick, and we're just going to fill up there. We can fill that there as well to make a, a windowsill. We can fill this gap as well. And what we're going to do is in there, halfway between one window and the next, we're going to pop in some andesite and then just make those a little bit arch-like there to just frame the windows the same here as well. Uh, and that does that. And then uh, the next one above, we can fill in the gap just like we did before, really simply like that. Here, I think we're just going to fill that with normal and I'll show you why in a second once we put those arches in if we come above here uh, we don't really see any of that detail anyway so we can just fill that like that I think as well we're going to need to bring uh, those across so that we've got the stone brick either side and obviously you would do the same at uh, this side there we go and then at this point uh, we probably need to just be consistent and fill in that hole as well uh, we're going to stop there because something different happens uh, at this point for the roof uh, you can also uh, maybe if you want to do some uh, little design work here just to kind of make that look like a railing wherever you like i think that actually looks nice there let's do that there uh, and then we're going to start working on these uh, the banisters the uh, things that stop people falling to their deaths off this balcony I almost forgot, obviously, where we do that here. We also have to do it on the sides. So you can come in and do the same thing here. You can just fill up those spaces there uh, with whatever design you want. You can uh, have fun there. You can put your own detailing in. I'm just going to keep it simple for the sake of the tutorial here. But 
be imaginative, maybe use different block types, different block shapes, put your own detailing in, have some fun. And up here, we just need to fill this space in here I missed. Uh, so basically all we're going to do here is just fill that up with stone just to keep it um, looking the similar um, way that it does on the outside. Uh, it also looks the same on the inside just to keep consistency. And now we've got to this, we need to look at this and think we've got this great big load of stonework here that if we were in real life and had gravity would need supporting. So how do we support it? Well, on the sides here, what we're going to do is we're going to build a small uh, arch like supports coming off these pillars uh, but up here it's a little bit more difficult uh, because we're a bit further away from the wall so instead we're going to put a pillar so I'm going to come in with my polish and decide find the middle here this block here and then we're going to go there and go all the way down to the bottom and we're going to use this as the basis for our pillars we're going to repeat this design a few places uh, around the build but we're just going to pop in uh, some chiseled blocks there like that and then we are going to come in with some of our steps. We're going to put some stairs on like that and then come in and just make that look a bit, bit more bulky like that. And that makes the base of our pillar. And we can do the same thing up here. What we need to do is bring three out like that that we can work off. And then we can do that same design. We can go uh, one, two, three and four. And then we can come in with our stairs and we can uh, do the same kind of thing here just like that only obviously upside down and that's it that gives us uh, a good basis for our pillars i also uh, used a stone fence uh, again on the original uh, it was cobble because of the version it was built in you can come in and use the stone brick walls instead if you want it to just be a bit more consistent or go for something completely different uh, and bring in a detail block, maybe a color block if you want and go wild. Uh, this is the safe, easy, conservative option, uh, especially if you're doing it survival, easy to get blocks are better. And that just gives us our complete pillar. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to repeat that uh, once on each side here. I know we said that mostly would use these supports, but it's nice to keep that detail a bit consistent only having one of them in the whole build might look a bit weird so it's good to have a few of them in so we're not going to go with uh, this gap we're going to go to the next gap which is about halfway between there and there we're going to go find the middle Oop, not there oh my goodness i'm going to find the middle there and then bring it all the way down and then we're going to do the exact same design there as well and now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing on the tops here uh, as we did on the bottoms. Uh, we're going to have a similar design going on where we do that and then put your stairs in in the same sort of fashion like that. And you can put a normal brick in there for now. That's fine. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So chisel, chisel, chiseled, uh, pop a couple of stairs in like so. Uh, you can build this up again uh, by one more and pop in uh, the upper layer and they basically just then look the same above and below. Uh, we better just do that on both sides to be consistent. There we go. And uh, of course we have to do one here. Uh, so two up, pop your chiseled in, one, two. We can even go all the way in on this because we've got a three wide path. We've got a bit more wiggle room, so you can do that. You can take that out if you want. It depends how much uh, space you want back here to walk through, uh, but that works like that. And then we need to start putting in our uh, anvil design. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pop in one on each corner and then we could divide this evenly uh, and space them. But I thought that was a, a little bit uninteresting. So instead, we're going to make a, a slightly different pattern. So we're going to leave a one space and then a three space and a two space, then a three space and then you get a one. So it goes uh, one, three, two, three, one. Uh, so that's uh, uh, then leaves a three there. And all we need to do is then fill them up with your anvils. If you don't want to use anvils if you're doing it in survival. I know I keep saying this, Wee. Uh, but you can use other blocks, use any of the uh, walls, fences, you name it, be imaginative. Now that's that far bit. We're going to do the same thing on this side. We're just going to carry on the pattern. So one 
and then leave a three gap, then leave a two gap, and then we're going to have a three there. And then we're going to do the same this side, one and three and two, and there we go. And we'll build it to there. We'll carry on uh, what we're going to be doing with the rest uh, a little bit later. And then next we need to start thinking about uh, filling these pillars up. And I bet it's not going to take a rocket scientist to figure out what I'm going to suggest here. We're going to do something similar to these. Now in the original, uh, I thought, let's just mix it up a little bit and use a different block. And if you see in the original, for these inside pillars, I use this, uh, I think it's the cyan cement block, is it? Yeah, probably. Uh, but you choose what you like. I like the kind of ready uh, of the nether brick and the cyan colour together. I think they look nice and add a bit of variety. You choose the colour theme that works for you. And it's the exact same principles as we've done for these side pillars here. We're going to do uh, a decorative block and then lit lamp, decorative block, lit lamp with the steps in all the way up until they meet the top here. Um, the only difference is when you're putting in the base pillars like we did there, it's exactly the same, uh, but we're going to go all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. There we go folks, so now you can see I've got those pillars all done and lit up and it does make a lot of difference to the lighting in the place, it uh, lines you up a lot. You are going to notice as you start doing this that you're going to get uh, to these pillars and get near the tops of them and you're following the pattern lovely just like this and you think oh I'm not quite sure how to finish this off uh, and I can't really tell you for sure how to do everything you just need to have to look at it uh, with a bit of common sense and just fill it in uh, roughly how you think looks best and most of the time like that it will look just fine and there's no right or wrong answer uh, we do obviously have to come up here and just like we did on the back wall we need to do these side walls as well uh, we are going to put in some of the stone bricks across there that's all you need to do there you don't really need to do anything more than that you can if you're feeling keen uh, maybe put in some of the stair blocks in there just to round them off i would advise as well just to fill in those little bits there so that nobody accidentally falls down them uh, again to their death which would be not great especially as i say if you're building this in survival uh, your visitors will not appreciate death traps uh, and there we go that looks fine again same on the other side and then we need to start looking at these supports as i said we're going to come off uh, this pillar here to show you as an example and we're going to go four blocks down on each side one two three four and then we're going to put one there and then we're going to come in and pop in an upturned stair on the bottom there an upturned there and an upturn there and that is basically it that is your design if you want to get really super fancy uh, i think in the original i put a stair like that and it's completely unnecessary but that's where you can start putting your own style in you're just going to repeat that on each of those next ones uh, as you can see i've done the first three we're gonna uh, leave that till next episode i think one quick note as well here on this pillar uh, you'll see these are already looking fairly finished but they do go from the pattern the lit pattern to the uh, nether brick that's because that faces uh, on the outside of the building uh, as well as the inside whereas these don't these are for the interior on this corner one you will need to come in and pop in the nether brick in there as well just in that space and in that space now time has rapidly run away with us as we've done loads already and i think it's probably about time to draw this to a close uh, we're going to do one last little bit more and that is down these uh, side aisles here we're going to start figuring out uh, how we decorate these areas here because at the moment they're looking a bit bare and a bit clunky uh, and to start with we're going to do something which will be of no surprise whatsoever we're going to continue on doing this along here we're going to do it three more times so here uh, we do that usual shape that one uh, is already uh, there if you see and then we're going to follow that up uh, on this side all the way to you know take it to the top and we'll figure that out later and then we're going to miss one out and then we're going to come to the next one and do our shape like that again and then miss the next one and come and do it 
once more like that. Now, uh, what we're going to do actually when we come around this corner is we're going to do it again there. Uh, but we're going to leave that for next episode. For now, all I want you guys to do is to uh, first off to take up your stone brick columns. And once you've done that, just fill that in with your detail and uh, your redstone lamp details, just like we've done before. And then we'll get on to the next step. As you can see now, things are starting to look much more lit up in there now. Uh, now the uh, next thing we need to do is to hide uh, this scruffy looking roof here. Uh, on a smaller build, you probably wouldn't do this, but on bigger builds, it really does work to add a ceiling in. Uh, what that means is the ceiling is going to be roughly at this level all the way out to here, which means we're going to have to have something uh, sealing up these sections. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come in and make an archway here. So you see where this uh, upturned step is, the one below it, we're going to pop in a block there like that. We're going to go in with our upturned stairs and pop one on there, one on there, one on there like that. And we're going to come up above this and there we're going to put in a normal step. Oh no, sorry, no, we're going to put one there, my mistake. There we go. And that's what that should look like. And then we're simply going to finish that off uh, with the stone bricks all the way across. You should have three across uh, the middle. And that's what we're doing. And we're going to do it there. And then we're going to do it on this side uh, of the uh, pillars as well. So you're going to have two archways. And we're going to do uh, them here, here, and here. So you're going to have uh, three sets of two archways. Let's just do one more just to show you. So we're going to pop in the upturned, upturned, and then we're going to come up and put the right way up and right way up. And then we're going to finish them off there with the stone bricks. That's it. That's the archways done. Once the archways are in, all you need to do is to grab some plain old stone. Nice, easy block to get hold of. And we're just going to fill these in here uh, at the layer above. Now, it's a little bit tricky maybe to start with because you don't want to go there um, where that is. Uh, what we want to go is one more above like that. So we'll take that out so that then there's a bit of an indent. We'll bring that across like so. And then fill all the way up. You're going to have to come in and fill in those little holes as well. One there and one there. You can see from underneath now that looks filled. You may uh, want to... Uh, do something about this here, maybe pop in a couple of stairs uh, or whatever you want to seal that up and make that look a bit more finished. And then up at the top, we go in with another layer of the stone brick, like so, and then an upturned stair in each corner. And that's it, that's the section done. You're gonna repeat that uh, once there, once there, and once there, we're gonna come around this corner and we're gonna do it here as well. Uh, so we'll do that now and it's exactly the same layer uh, as we did before. So there and there. Uh, pop in your upturn, 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 upturn. And then we'll come in here with your normal ones and then we will bridge across like so. Really simple. There we go. And if we come back and have a look at that now, that's great. Now all we need to do is pop in our stone uh, in between, in the middle, in the sandwich, if you like. And there we go. Pop in one in that little corner to fill it up there. And then we need to finish off this. Uh, so we do exactly the same. We can do that. And then pop in your upturned, upturned, just to give the slight arch look, and there we go. So that means when you're walking around here, there's no weird unsightly gaps there. That works all the way around now, all the way around, all the way around, and it will go to here for you guys. Now, uh, this archway here is a little bit different though, because these two gaps, uh, they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide. This one is only five wide. Right now, uh, for the five wide block, what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the level of the upturned slab and we're going to pop in uh, a block. We're going to come underneath it with an upturned stair, upturned stair. We're going to put a right way upstairs and a right way upstairs. And then in this gap, we're just going to pop in some slabs like that. And then obviously, just like we've done every other time, we're going to mirror that uh, on the other side. So block in, steps in and slabs in just like that. And then we need to fill in the middle. Uh, again, just like we've done every other time, 
with your stone all the way up to the top like so whoops not that one and when you come underneath here obviously you're gonna fill that like so and probably what you're gonna need is to maybe put in uh, something like that and that's what it looks like obviously uh, same again for the top we're just gonna fill straight across upturn stair upturn stair and there we have it that's that section done we're not gonna go any further than that pillar uh, in this episode I think we've done quite enough already I'm just gonna finish that uh, off and then we will do these little roof sections and if you followed me up till now you might be wondering why these are so uh, scruffy at the top and it's because they're not gonna be seen what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same archway design but instead of going across that way we're now gonna go from the pillars across to the wall like so so we're gonna just pop in uh, your uh, block and go to your stairs go upturned upturned and then normal and then come across with your uh, full blocks just like that and that's what we're going to do and we're going to do that at here and here you'll notice that unlike when we did them here uh, when we do them across the side well we don't need to fill up with the stone there because this bit is not going to be seen at all once we've put in the roof sections here so what we're going to do is we're going to work all with the stone brick slabs here we're going to come here into this corner and uh, not at the level of the upturned stair on the first block on the upper part of it there like that and what we're going to do is we're then going to make uh, an l shape like that so that it uh, turns into this kind of uh, upturned uh, sort of uh, stair and then we're going to do a W shape here like that so that makes it look like that and we're going to mirror that across over to the other side so one layer two layers and then the W shape makes it a third layer and then we're going to do the same over on this side now it's a little bit trickier maybe to spot where you want to do it but effectively you're leaving one gap in between that and that and then that's where your W starts and you see it just fits in nicely there so you can come in and do the other way around there and that just fits in like that so we'll do that again over here put in your W shape and place two more in there and there we go now what we're going to do is fill this gap and the way we're going to do that is by just coming up one more level like so and bridging across to make a three like that we're going to do the same on both sides so one two three one two three and then here one two three one two three and one more uh, you're probably gonna have to come off that one to fit that in there like so that leaves you a square bit left you're gonna have to come in here and pop that in there probably just because we can't put one there because of the copper slab above it and then we're going to come in here and finish this off the way we're going to finish it off is by just doing a ring like so uh, before you finish the ring off though we are going to pop in a light so we're going to use a redstone lamp i need a lever there it is let's just pop that on the top there and switch it on and then we can finish it off with a slab and there we go there is your uh, roof design we're going to do that uh, in here as well don't forget just like we've done before in the in-betweens although we're not building above like that we do need to seal off this space here so pop in uh, some of your stone bit fiddly to get up but we can do it like that and probably one there and that just seals that up so that it doesn't look weird from below we'll do that one more time for you just to show you so in there and there oh that's already done look oh yes we already did that silly me we can put one in there and one in there and probably seal it off here maybe oh again just finesse it uh maybe we can put in an upturned stair i don't know and maybe reverse that around that probably looks a bit better anything that makes it look roughly neat and tidy and as you can see now those uh, ceilings are looking nice and hiding the copper from above making it feel a bit more appropriate uh, we just need to finish off with a tiny bit more detail on these back walls here what we can do is pop one in there maybe one and one in there and then we're going to come in and do that and maybe that just to make it look neat i uh, will do the same on the other side and then up at the top obviously we need to seal that off as well i'm going to put in a slab there i'm going to pop in uh, a couple of full blocks there and there and then we're just going to mirror what we did below 
with some upturned slabs, uh, uh, upturned stairs rather, there and there. And that just finishes off, details that nicely so that it fits in. And I think that's where we're going to stop for today, guys. We have done an enormous amount and we have made a lot of progress. Uh, we will find that once we're here, uh, the second half of the building is hopefully going to go pretty fast. So guys, hilariously in the time it's taken me to do that episode, we have actually hit the thousand. So for everyone who has helped me the whole of the way uh, through this journey, thank you very much. And thank you for sticking with this build. We will be finished pretty soon now. I hope you're happy with the interior as it's happening. Uh, don't forget to hit the next video. Uh, I will put the link on the end screen here so that you can go to the next part of the tutorial when it's out. Uh, if it's not out yet, go watch some of my other stuff whilst you're waiting. I will not be too long. And we have a special coming up for the thousand subscriber special. I have something a little bit different. Hope you guys like it. So keep uh, your eyes peeled for that, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and obviously hit the notification bell so that you don't miss it and we will see you in the next one.